First of all, let's hide our desert plane and then add another plane and then shape it like that or let's say, do it for yourself. Now we are adding the nodes that we want with the same shortcuts thanks to the node wrangler add-on. And don't forget to change blending mode to other than opaque to be able to get transparency. And then change it with the noise texture as usual and combine it to the alpha. As you see, it is now heterogeneously transparent like we want. You can add color ramp to get more control. By tweaking its X scale, you can give it a view like dust in the wind. Because the dust will be more dense at the bottom and less dense at the higher part, we have to put another node called gradient nodes to make it less dense at the top and vice versa. Now, because the node takes the information from the UV coordinate, we have to combine to the Y socket instead of Z. Now to get wanted effect namely less dense at the top, I am adding invert color node in between. I am adding this RGB node to mix them with choosing multiply mode. To be able to get to more tweaking capability, I will do the same thing for the bottom. And because it is the bottom, we don't need invert node anymore. Again, you can control shift click to any node to see its function. Now let's add some edges to use it later. Now at this point arrange the mesh according to the hill. As you see here, I am trying to arrange the material to be seen more accurately and visible by adjusting the nodes, color ramps and giving some emissions to the material. I didn't cut the video sequence here to make you able to see what is going on from beginning to the end. You can just skip the video if you are already ok with your material at your scene. Now it's time to multiply this mesh and put them parallel to each other to give the dust its depth while looking from the camera and of course we should arrange them according to the topology. At this point I am inserting keys to the nodes to make the dust look like moving from one side to other. Here I want to give you a trick, and that is changing the interpretation of the inserted node, namely mapping node, to make the dust moving at the constant speed. Lastly, I have duplicated one last mesh and move it up close to the camera and increase its transparency a little bit more to give the view more depth. 